welcome students i am back with a new tutorial and today in this tutorial i'll teach you how to calculate the salary of a particular employee so i have randomly taken some employee code the basic salary so i just assume that this can be the particular salary then i just made DA 50% of the basic, DA is extra salary given on basic salary that should be 50%. Then HRA, house rent allowance 10% of the basic. Now this is the basic salary. This one is the basic salary. Then HRA 10%. My main purpose is to teach you how to use formulas in open office calc. Although these formulas can be used on Excel also or any other open spreadsheet software so then along with it I just used bonus also bonus can be 30% or 40% so I just made the condition here bonus if basic salary is greater than 50,000 then 30% should be given as a bonus otherwise 40% is it okay so the bonus will also be calculated upon basic. So if it is greater than 50,000, suppose this is the case, this is the case, then it should be 30%. Otherwise, who are getting the less salary, the bonus will be 40%. The same way, the tax. Now after bonus, the tax also I'll uh, tell you how to do. Firstly about gross. The gross salary is the total salary. And in gross, the basic salary, then DA, HRA plus bonus will be all calculated here. And then in tax, tax means income tax. So for tax, I just made the condition here. If the gross salary is greater than 1 lakh then 20 percent of gross so i just assumed these are not the actual calculations which are being used to calculate the income tax my main purpose is to teach you how to do the calculations so i have to use all these conditions the same way you have also to do you can just pause my video and note down all these things as i have shown Although you can vary the values, but the main purpose is to teach you how to use the formulas. So firstly, to calculate 50% of the basic. So it's very easy, is equal to, I'm using B, then is equal to, I can uh, B5, either I can use in this way, or I can directly click B5 multiply by, 50 divided by 100 it's very simple so it's 5000 and then i can drag it down i have already explained all these things in my previous tutorials so i can drag it down the formula will be copied so in this way we can easily get the basic salary now hra the same way hra also 10 percent of basic is equal to I'll put brackets multiply by 10% divided by 100 so 10% has been calculated and I'll drag it down now here I have to use if condition because if basic is greater than 50,000 then 30% else 40% so I'll use here is equal to if basic is now this is the basic salary i'll just put this sign greater than 50000 then for then actually we have to put semicolon here in excel we use to put only a comma so i'll put a semicolon here and then the condition is that it should be 30% if it is greater than 
50,000. I put 5,000, I'll just make it 50,000. Then what it should do, it should calculate 30%. For calculating of 30%, I'll put, I can put bracket and then the same B5 multiply by 30 divided by 100. So the condition is met. Otherwise, we have to give 40%. Then again, semicolon because this is the condition means else condition. If it is greater than 50,000, then 30%, else 40%. So now I'll calculate to 40%. Again, I'll put bracket B5 multiply by 40 divided by 100. I'll just close it, although it has been done. So, you could see the formula here. You can pause it here. So, hence the formula has been done 30% or 40%. I hope it is clear. So, here it is 4000. 30% or 40%. So, it should be 40% here on 10,000. But if I drag it down, wherever it is greater than 50,000, so there it will be calculated uh, on base of 30%. So, I hope this is clear. So, now we have to calculate the gross. So, it's very simple is equal to basic so either i can use uh, b5 plus this is b5 c5 sorry add b5 and then plus bonus either i can find the total that means gross salary with this method or the easiest method I can use is equal to sum I'll just calculate all and put bracket so it's like this it's been calculated like this the gross so now this has been done the gross has been done and in gross all these things are calculated now making of tax how to calculate the tax here also some condition has been given persons who are getting more than one lakh only to that persons we have to go for the tax we have to put the tax only for the persons whose gross salary is greater than one lakh so what we could do again we have to put the if condition if gross salary greater than 1 lakh then what it should do again semicolon then we have to calculate 20 percent uh, we have to write here 20 multiply by f5 divided by 100 And closing the second bracket also so it is giving it false so just to we will just add a little bit more in this put one more colon else it should give the value as zero so it's giving zero that means the tax is zero I hope this step is clear very much to you if f5 is greater than 1 lakh then it will calculate 20% of this gross salary else it will give 0 that means no tax if the salary is less than 1 lakh so I will just drag this formula here so only 2 persons are coming in this category that means 1 lakh 42,500 because it is more than 1 lakh so the tax has been calculated the same way here also 
the salary is more the tax is been calculated now calculating of net salary so the, that's very simple what we have to do is equal to sign always we have to put is equal to sign so that uh, our spreadsheet software should know that we are doing calculation f5 f5 means gross salary subtraction that means we will subtract g5 and then put enter because it's zero it's come same 20 uh, 20000 here this is uh, this thing we will drag it down and we will get the result and dear students this is very much clear to you i have given one of the example how to go with salary calculation of any employee all the methods can be different but the main purpose was to teach you how to go with the calculation if you'll see here rupees are coming that means currency sign is coming and even uh, after dot that means decimal point two zeros are also coming if i want to remove this so you know very well here are the options i'll remove this one also decimal point number format standard so i just selected this number standard this is wall currency and this is for number format so i'll just select this I hope rest all the things are very much clear. So I'm closing my tutorial here only. If any doubt, you can always comment. So till then, bye-bye.